just got back to the shop. Uh, I got the mini on the trailer here. Um, project we're doing, and you'll see tomorrow, it's kind of tight access. So uh, unfortunately, I would love to use the new machine. It's just gonna be way too big for uh, the job. So we rented this Bobcat E20. Uh, it's kind of a, I guess you call it a small, I don't know, small <laughs> small mini. Um, they do have the small one that we use on a lot of our um, you know, line replacement projects and stuff like that. So, um, but it's, it's literally the perfect size machine for what we need to do tomorrow. So, uh, we have pretty tight access. There's only about, uh, six feet of clearance in some spots to get, uh, to get where we need to go. So this machine should work out perfect for what we got to do. So, uh, we're all locked and loaded, ready to go for the morning. I'm uh, going to get an early start tomorrow about seven o'clock. Uh, it's supposed to be freezing cold again tomorrow. Right now it's, it's in the twenties right now. So it's, it's chilly, the ground's frozen, but uh, tomorrow I'm supposed to get up into the 40s. It's supposed to be cold in the morning, though, but it is what it is. So, uh, it's the week before Christmas up here in New England. I mean, just glad to be even working right now. So, but we'll be back in the morning and uh, we'll get rolling on the project. All right, so today's project a little different from pool work. Uh, this is one of our longtime pool customers. Uh, we're gonna clear out this area back here, uh, basically make it usable space. So we got some logs in here. We got to get rid of all this leaf and brush. Uh, the landscaper dumps all the leaves here. This whole pile's got to go. So basically this whole back area, all the way along the perimeter, all these uh, vines and thorns got to come out all the way along the back of the fence here. We got a lot of logs here too. So all this is getting cleared out and uh, we're putting all the brush back here nice and neat. So we're gonna get going. We're gonna start get the leaves out of the way first. We're just getting the sticks moved. We're gonna get this pile of leaves out of here first. And I'll probably jump up here in the machine, rent it a little mini, you know, I'll start getting these logs moved. That's the plan.
right, so it's noon time right now. We uh, got a lot done. So we got all, this was all leaves and debris. It was all piled up, probably about five feet high. There was vines and thorns hanging from this tree. So we got all that out. Got all the leaves pretty much blown out of this whole area. Um, we got a ton of vines and roots and stuff we got to work on up here. Um, I couldn't really get the machine in here, but uh, we're going to work on this next. Get them all out and some there. This whole area is pretty good. Uh, we definitely got some more vines to cut. They're literally everywhere around here. But uh, making really good progress. Um, surprised how fast it's going, actually. And uh, we're just working our way down to the end. We're going all the way down to the end of the fence down here with the machine. So he's got about another 10 feet or so to go. And then we're just gonna kind of blend all the stuff into the wood so you can't even tell that we uh, piled it up. So um, this is all leaves that came out of up there. All these logs came out of uh, where the roots are up there where he is. So we just gotta blend all this debris in so it looks like we weren't even here. And uh, I don't think we'll be done fully today, but we're gonna be uh, most of the way there. up uh, I got this job done a lot faster than I thought so um, eventually this is all gonna be um, I think they're gonna put in either mulch or uh, wood chips or something back here I'm not sure exactly what the plan is yet but they just wanted to get it cleaned out and cleared up so um, we did a, I don't know if you saw this morning there's a lot of um, all the grass clippings and the leaves and everything from the yard was stacked in here this was about five feet deep of just crap uh, those vines hanging down from the tree here it was an absolute mess back here, so um, I don't think this place has ever been <laughs> this clean. Uh, we went all the way around the fence line. Uh, we just did like a 10-foot uh, strip around just so they can uh, have easier access if they need to. Tons of uh, logs and stuff like that that were over here, so. But uh, it looks a lot better, hell of a lot better. So, um, like I said, I don't know what their exact plan is. They just wanted to get it cleaned up for now. Uh, sounds like they're going to put something in here, either wood chips or mulch or something. I'm not really sure yet. Um, and then there's a little, like, uh, old garden area up here. Um, eventually, I think they're going to want to plant something in here and get this all tuned up. But um, basically, our job was just to get this area cleaned up and looking a lot better. And I think it looks awesome compared to what it did look like. So... So that's it for this one. I uh, don't really have too many more projects coming up this winter. Uh, Christmas is in two days. Um, right now, honestly, we're just waiting for snow to do some snow plowing. So I'm um, going to try to get some videos still going. But uh, this might be it for, for a little bit. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one.